I have seen these pillow beds everywhere and I really wanted some for my kids to use when we have guests and they have to share a room or for sleepovers and movie nights. So I came up with this crazy simple, ridiculously easy version with no zippers or Velcro, just an envelope fold. This is She's Making Something and today I'm making pillow beds. I am at Walmart and there are only two things I need for this project, a $6.88 twin size fleece blanket. I grabbed three colors because I'm making three pillow beds and some $3.44 pillows, four for each bed. So I need a lot of these and that's it. I grabbed the standard queen size pillows, which are 20 by 28 inches. To get the size of my pockets for these pillows, I subtract one inch from each measurement giving me a pocket size of 19 by 27 inches. I unwrapped and washed the blankets before making this project, and this is a twin size blanket measuring 66 by 90 inches. A flat twin size sheet would work as well, but I like the soft, comfy feeling of the fleece, and the slight stretch makes it a very forgiving material to work with. I'll put the blanket right side up, and it can be hard to tell right versus wrong side on some fabrics, but these blankets have tags attached to the wrong side, so tag side down. Again, my pillows were 28 inches, subtract an inch to get 27. There is some wiggle room here, 26 would work too, but I need to fold this blanket to make it 27 inches wide. The middle of 27 is 13.5, so I grabbed one end of the blanket, fold it over, making sure it goes past 13 and a half inches. About 18 inches gives some good overlap, so my first fold is 18 inches. Then I measure 27 from that fold, and that is where I will fold it again back toward the middle. So now I have two folds that overlap in the middle and they are 27 inches apart. Having at least six inches of overlap in the middle is what holds the pillows inside the pockets without the need of Velcro or zippers. And I have more than enough here. I take that 27 inch measurement and fold all the way down the blanket making a large blanket burrito. By using a pre-made blanket, I'm taking advantage of the already finished edges and the only sewing I am going to do is five straight lines across this folded blanket. First, I will sew the two end seams, all this burritos inside out. This will take a little bit more measuring to figure out exactly where these should go. The corners of this blanket are a little curved, so I'm going to make my first seam four to five inches from the edge to avoid most of that curve. So I measure where I want and place my first pin. Using that same measurement, I place three more pins on the folded edges and also on the edge of the flaps. Using my tape measure, I line up the top and bottom pins and make sure the others are lined up straight, and then I place more pins in between. I could have used an actual straight edge and drawn a line, and if I were using a sheet or another type of fabric, then that's what I would have done to be more accurate. But like I said, this fleece has a little stretch, and if things are off by a few millimeters, it won't affect anything. So after I made sure my main four pins were lined up, I just eyeballed the rest. To figure out where the other edge seam should be, I need to measure all the pockets, which are 19 inches apart. So along the folded edge, I measure 19 inches from my first seam and mark it. Then a second 19 inches, a third, and finally a fourth pocket measuring 19 inches, and I have reached the other end of my pillow bed. I measure how far my last pin is from the edge and use that measurement to create another straight line of pins to mark my second seam. So now I have two lines of pins running parallel to the ends of my blanket burrito, one on this side and one on the other, and I will use these as my guide to sew my edge seams. I sew down my line of pins, keeping my next pin centered up with the standard presser foot, backstitching to the beginning and end of my line, as well as backstitching over the edges of the flaps. I'm using a regular plain straight stitch with basic white thread, nothing fancy needed here. This fleece is thick and fluffy and I do my best to keep it flat, giving it some help to make its way through the machine without overly stretching it, removing each pin as I come to it. 
one side done, flip the blanket around and sew the second seam. So here I am again with my little blanket burrito, but this time the ends are all stitched up. And now I'm going to cut off the edge of the fabric about half an inch to an inch away from the seam and do the same thing on the other side. Now for the fun part of turning it right side out. I have my seam and these flaps and I'm going to open up the flaps so I can reach inside to grab both corners with my hands and pull them out flipping it all right side out. So now that the seam is inside the fabric, giving it a nice clean edge. I make my way down the blanket, spinning those flaps around to the proper side until I reach the other seam. Again, reach inside, grab both corners, and pull them out. And there is the pillow bed right side out with enclosed seams and nice edges. It is one big giant pillowcase, but I need four pillowcases. So now that I have sewn this line and that line, I need one in the middle and one over there and one over there, making one, two, three, four pillow pockets. So I'm going to measure my 19 inch spots again and make three more lines of pins. So back to the measuring tape. From the corner, I measure 19 inches again and mark it. I'm going to do the same along the top edge this time giving me my two points to create and mark a straight line. I'm also double checking that the distance between the two pins is still 27 inches. Again, I don't actually mark anything on the fabric because I'm the laziest person I know. I just use my pins to create a guide. From that line of pins, I measure 19 again, and then again. This last pin is not only 19 inches from my middle line, but I also check it is 19 inches from my end seam. I've created my three lines of pins, marking four rectangles that are 27 inches by 19 inches. I have said the number 19 so many times, it is becoming my least favorite number in existence. But now I'm going to sew my final three lines, making five lines total, and this the easiest project I've ever done. These sewing lines are on the outside of the pillow bed, so I just double knot them before cutting them off to help them stay secure. One finished pillow bed case costing me less than $7 when they were being sold on Amazon for $30 or more just for the case, but I spent less than that and I got one, two, three, four pillows also. Flip the case over and using that opening in the envelope fold, stuff the bed with pillows. This has seriously been one of the easiest projects I have ever done and I love it. I made three of them because it was so quick and they are soft, they are versatile, they are easy to wash, easy to store, and my kids love using them for movie nights. If you like my technique for making simple pillow beds, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to get notified the next time I'm making something. Thanks for watching.